Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I'd really appreciate it and I update daily. If you like this watch, you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today we are discussing a Leviathan of the Deep, Oris's Pro Diver Date. 49 millimeters in titanium. This is the hardest of the hardcore Oris dive watches, and Oris does have a few. The Diver 65 is the vintage play, the Aquas is the versatile diver, the one to go perhaps steal some of the sub market at a third to one quarter of the price, and the Pro Diver is the value alternative to the likes of something along the lines of a Rolex Deep Sea or an Omega Planet Ocean. The toughest most richly endowed with features and functions, as well as the deepest diving of the Oris dive watches. So is this a legitimate deep sea rival? Let's take a look and find out. Now 49 is the measurement across the round of the case 9 to 3. I wouldn't have guessed it. I would have guessed 45 or 46. It wears easily on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist as it is entirely titanium. It's thick, but maybe not as thick as you imagine. 16 millimeters thick means it is substantially slimmer than a Rolex deep sea. And lug to lug, it's a manageable 54 millimeters. I found that this one sits evenly, comfortably, and because the lugs are short, stubby, and dramatically downturned, it really arcs around the edge of my wrist, which can see a good advantage from these angles. I believe you could wear this watch comfortably on a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference, but rest assured, on all but the largest of lumberjack forearms, this is going to be a dramatically oversized and disproportionate watch. You have to like the oversized look, regardless of wrist size, to buy into this one. Now, if you do, you'll find that everything touching the wrist is wonderfully made. The bracelet first is fixed by screws, which I always like to see because it's more secure than a spring bar arrangement. There's a handsome taper and even a differential finish, as you can see polished outers, satin finished centers, and plenty of gaps to avoid pinching skin, pulling hair, or trapping heat, moisture, sweat, and grit on the wrist. The individual removable links are actually held in place by small screws, so Grand Seiko claiming you need to use pin sleeves on a titanium bracelet, not the case. Oris uses screws. Now you'll note there are micro adjust positions that you can access using a strap tool, but there is a conventional fold out all or nothing dive extension. So if you want to fit this one over a wetsuit, a dry suit, or just a thick winter coat, you can easily do so. The clasp is not friction fit, nor does it rely on a cheap clamshell system. It uses twin triggers, and you'll note the triggers themselves featuring polished contrast with the satin of the clasp. Oris leaves no stone unturned. This is a thoroughly styled and highly considered design from Oris. Rather than just throwing a big shape on your wrist and saying, you know what, it can be a can, a cylinder, a vessel for the movement, and highly water resistant, they didn't do that. They created something original, right down to the unique tri-screws used to fix the contrasting tone-on-tone -tone crown guards and shear guards. The crown is polished, the flanks are satin, and then you have Oris's unique diving rotation safety system. Now you will note there's a little bit of wear on the vulcanized rubber bezel, it's a pre-owned watch, full disclosure. Helium escape valve on the flank for saturation divers, but the real highlight is how this system works. You can see it is the rotation safety system, and it works as follows. You pull up the outer bezel, you hear it snap, and now that unlocks the bezel. It's still unidirectional, you can't turn it backwards, but only by pulling up the outer ring, let's give ourselves a bit more light and focus in a little bit better, only by pulling up that outer ring, and you can see how it rises above the lip of the bezel itself, can you make an adjustment. Now the ratchet, the detent, is superb, one of the best I've encountered. And it's rich, it's loud, it's snappy, it's on par with what I consider to be the segment standard, the Panerai Luminor submersible bezels. You'll also note that it features a fixture by those same whimsical tri-spoke screws, and a ceramic base, so it is highly scratch-resistant inboard. Line it up with the unusual for a dive watch leaf hand, and now you've got an impromptu 0 to 60 minute timer. I always find this easier to read than a chronograph. A dive bezel, from my perspective, is the best chronograph ever made. You'll note that all of the indices are appliques for the hours rather than printed, and there's a generous chaptering outboard, so if you are looking at the watch, from an angle, it becomes easier to read in any light. You'll note that there is a wave motif on the dial base, somewhat like a 1990s or 2000s Omega Seamaster 300 meter, and there's a date, which is part of the nomenclature of the model, the 
Aura's Pro Diver date, nicely anchored with a white border at 6 o'clock. The dial has a handsome symmetry about it, and you'll note it is 1,000 meters water resistant. So robustly water resistant, and with that helium escape valve, it's ready for just about any adventure you might have in mind, whether you're an amateur or a professional of the highest order. You can use this as your backup dive timer. Also note that the lugs are nicely stepped out from the case plank to add some definition to the sides. If you look at something like a Rolex Deep Sea, it has almost no defining lines along the sides to break up the mass of the metal, or it did the job better. Now on the case back, you can see conversion factors. If you want to convert meters to feet or feet to meters, Oris helps you to do that for diving's sake. And of course, the movement. What Oris calls a caliber 733 is a Salida SW201 automatic winding by directional action, 38 hour power reserve, 28,800 vibration per hour beat rate. It features a quick set for the date as well as hacking seconds so you can stop the movement and synchronize to a reference time. 26 joules and of course controlled by an enormous crown, this is Oris's dive watch, is taking a cue from the, the Big Crown Aviation Collection, as the crown itself is immense and easy to grip even with wet, sweaty, or gloved hands. This is a handsome watch that, eyes closed, feels more like a 42 or a 43 than the gargantuan 49 that it is. Easy to wear and easy on the eyes, smart in its design, and full-featured. I'm going to give this one a leg up on the Rolex for sheer value, as well as the exuberance of the form, the richness of the bracelet, and the value of what you get in total package. It even comes with a very entertaining Pelican-style box set. You can see and you can purchase this deluxe diver at a reasonable price from Oris on the watch box. Ah, let there be loom. We're back with the Oris Pro Diver date. As you can see, pull up that rotation safety system you can easily track the luminescent pearl of this bezel through the night. Bonus points. Note the contrast of the bulb of the seconds hand. See it by the light of day on the watch box.